Ten times Meghan Markle left an indelible mark on Suits' farewell, Rachel Zinn. The law never looked as good as when Rachel Zinn was practicing it. But now that Meghan Markle is leaving Suits, the USA show will just have to limp along without her. The actress, of course, has a compelling reason to leave Hollywood behind. She's engaged to Prince Harry and she's looking forward to working with him on philanthropic efforts. What's been really exciting as we talk about this as the transition out of my career is that the causes that have been very important to me I can focus even more energy on, Meghan said as she and her royal fiancé sat down for their first interview with BBC. You realize that as you have access or a voice that people are willing to listen to, it comes with a lot of responsibility, which I take seriously. Keep in mind I've been working on my show for seven years, so we're very, very fortunate to have that kind of longevity on a series, and once we hit the 100th episode mark in August, I felt I've ticked this box, she added. And I feel really proud of the work we've done there, and now it's time to work as a team with Harry. So let's pay homage to Meghan and her most famous character with these unforgettable Rachels and moments. In the pilot, Rachel meets Mike, without the foggiest jinking he'd eventually be her fiancé. In fact, she shuts him down, saying she doesn't date co-workers. Well, she did, but her romance with Colin McCarthy ended in a train wreck. Okay, so that fraternizing rule didn't last long. Rachel finally kissed Mike after a long day's work and after he had already hooked up with then-girlfriend Jenny Griffith. Louis Litt suspended Rachel for allegedly leaking documents to a rival firm, but once he realized that that a co-worker framed her, he welcomed her back. She stood up for the injustice done unto her, though, and demanded a 10% raise and a full ride to law school. Rachel also showed her vigilante streak when she blackmailed her rude mock trial opponent into throwing the case. Don't cross her. Finally, in season two, Rachel overcame her test-taking aversion and got an LSAT score high enough to get her into Harvard. If only her resume had looked any more impressive than the other applications in the school's rejection pile. In the season two finale, Rachel discovered Mike never went to Harvard and slaps him. Angry sex ensues. Meeting your significant other's parents is usually a daunting prospect, but Mike had even more reason to fear Rachel's dad when they sat down to dinner. Robertson is a prominent lawyer, and here Mike was without a Harvard degree. When Rachel got into Stanford, she went to Jessica Pearson to demand a job in spite of the firm's Harvard rule. What a go-getter. Reunited and it feels so good. After more downs than ups including multiple affairs, Rachel and Mike decided to get engaged. Please note, they did not exactly live happily ever after. Romance roller coaster aside, Rachel has proven herself to be a legal superhero again and again, especially when she got Leonard Bailey off death row by getting his case reopened and finding the game-changing tampering of evidence.